Hi everybody again. I'm back here today in my glass painting studio. Um, what I'm gonna do today is um, glass painting portraits. So um, this is a project that I'm uh, gonna be doing. I've been doing it for years, but I um, have some portraits to paint today. Uh, before starting, I will show you like the process. Um, this is a project I started 2007 that I never that I never finished. And then in this project, what I did is I uh, draw the framing. You see how it's gonna be like the framing of the glass first. You see how the borders are painted, and I left uh, like a space over here to paint the portraits. And then formerly in the 70s in Senegal, people used to use this kind of uh, glass to frame their own pictures. And it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be like uh, interesting. So I already um, did the drawing and some other pieces which I'm gonna show you. And then when I paint it, the face is gonna be like, like this. It's, uh, it's already like framed. And I'm going to show you some pieces that I made, some portraits. These are portraits of President Obama. I made and I think um, I didn't sign this, but I made it in 2009. But I've never shown it. This is the cover of the pot we used to use to cook soup with it. So I'm kind of uh, giving it a second function, but not recycling. So I don't, I don't want to throw it away. So what I did is I uh, painted like the uh, picture of President Obama. What I mostly do is I sometimes go to the face to Facebook uh, or the website, get people's pictures, and change their clothes. You see the clothes he's wearing here is African clothes. I change the clothes, and sometimes I also like take all the people's picture and switch them to another race. For instance, I will take the white person and paint it paint him black and or take a white woman painted black or take a white person or take a black person paint him white that's what I call like transracial painting so I like switching people's colors changing their clothes and then or there are others that I made I think I made this for one person and uh, another picture, which is like glass painting of President Obama, but I never showed it. I don't want to sell it. Private collection. Here it is. And this is how it looks like in the back, because all the process is done right here in the back. You paint in the back, you do everything in the back, and you turn it, this is what it is. It's just like thinking backwards if it exists. So I made a couple of, um, couple of paintings of him. So, this is another one, and another one with a colorful Rastafarian background, and this is another one with like um, a sunset, it's glass painting portraits of people that I usually do. Hey Tia, how you doing? See you later. <laughs> and this is how it's gonna be like in the um, in the background. So everything is painted over here. It's just like you're thinking backwards. Okay now the project we have today is gonna be this one because um, I have some pieces I did I started doing yesterday and the person is drawn, I drew like the face of the person. Here it is. I already did the framing. What I do is I mostly do the framing first and then paint the person. And this this is like another project. So today I have a couple of pieces. I, I wanna do six pieces today, but I'm gonna share only one piece with you because um, it's a little bit, it has like a lot of details. So as I usually do, you see when you put, always have something white underneath, even if I paint it black, white is gonna be beautiful. And the white paper will always help. 
okay? I'm gonna start with this one. I think it's gonna be easier. The drawing is already done. As you can see, these lines are very, are very big compared to the other lines. Sometimes I draw like big lines, sometimes like very small outlines, like in this one. The outline is very, is very small. See? But in this one, the outline is, is very big. And you can see this one also, the outline is, is kind of big too. Draw first on the glass and then do the painting. So, let me move this out of here and I'm gonna start like uh, the project. White paper always, that will help. right now I think you can see I mixed my paint earlier because I know what I was gonna do. a lot of fun doing this. This is what I like about these small pieces. You can hold them on your hand. While like painting the windows, uh, they are very heavy. You cannot do this. Okay. I think the body is on.
So what I do is like, um, I paint over here and I look over here. If I see some empty spots, I will just stamp them. Just stamp the empty spots. So you can either paint or you can like stamp like this. Okay, now the face of the person is, is almost done. You can see some like empty spots, some white spots, but it's on the front of the glass. Here it is. Now I'm gonna paint the clothes. I'm painting the clothes because the color is not gonna run into, into each other. Because this color over here is gold color and it's already dry. It means I can't put another layer over here and the color is not gonna run into each other. Okay, now, what color do I need for the, uh, for the clothes? Yellow would work. Let me try some yellow. Okay, the clothes is done. The girl is wearing a yellow t-shirt or whatever it is. The first step is to paint the face, to paint the eyes first, and then you put like um, the color of the skin, either you wanna make it white or black, and then the t-shirt. And now I will move to the hair. Okay, I think um, she's gonna have gray hair or black hair, so she's gonna have that. Got beautiful hair right here. The girl's got beautiful hair, working on the hair right now. Okay. I'm use I'm both using like a paint, a big paint brush and a small paint brush. But in this kind of glass paintings, I mostly use like small pen brush because um, there's a lot of details. Okay, the hair is done. Okay, some more.
feels there's something I don't like in the skin of the girl, so what I do is like stamp it, change a little bit the color, because it's not dry yet. If you already made the paint and you want to make some changes, I want it like darker, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp like this. You see, it becomes darker right now. The front of the face. You cannot erase. When it's wet, you want to make some changes, spot, light spot, dark spot. So you stamp. And you see here, the changes. Okay. Okay, now. I'm done with the uh, with the face, I'm done with the hair, I'm done with the t-shirt. So what's left is the background. I'm gonna wait till it's dry and I will I will paint the background. Okay, that was today's project. Here it is, glass painting. And then as you can see the background, I'll put it like light blue or any other color that I feel like putting over there. Okay. This is just what I wanted to share with you today. Since I'm busy, I have six more pieces to paint. And this is like the process of glass painting. This is the process of glass painting. Here it is. You paint in the background. And that is what, what, what you have. As I show you earlier, and then these are some other projects that I already did of uh, glass paintings. Paint over here, and then the background is is like this. It's the same, and this is how it's like. Hey, come on, what is it? Okay, this way. Okay, guys, that was today's project, so I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna stop, because I have six more pieces to do, and uh, thank you for following, and uh, see you soon. Have a wonderful day, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Bye. Oh, before that, Okay, cut now. Take care and have a wonderful day. Okay, finished.